deep the Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make a wretch His treasure How great the pain of searing loss the Father turns His face away As wounds which mar the Chosen One Bring many sons to glory Upon his shoulders Ashamed I hear my mocking voice Call out among the scoffers It was my sin that held him there Until it was a everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Saturday the 5th of June. We begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Creator God, mighty and mysterious, awesome beyond words, we thank you for making yourself known to us in Christ, for sharing our humanity, for walking our earth, for becoming one with us, through him. Lord Jesus, we thank you for breaking down the barriers that separate us from the Father, for helping us not just to know you, but to relate to God firsthand. We thank you that through your living, your dying and your rising among us, we can experience the gift of your Spirit, your living presence deep within. Eternal God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, open our eyes each day to the wonder of who you are and of everything you have done, and help us faithfully to love you, to serve you, and to honour you. Amen. Romans chapter 5 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. 
not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Psalm 86 Hear me, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for mercy. When I am in distress, I call to you, because you answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, Lord. No deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They will bring glory to your name, for you are great and do marvellous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with 
all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O God. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Show your strength on behalf of your servant. Save me, because I serve you just as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we thank you that we do not run the race of Christian discipleship on our own, but that we are part of an ongoing procession, extending far back across the years and continuing long after we have finished our course. We thank you for those who have gone before us, especially those who have displayed special faith and dedication. We thank you for across the world, those who follow you today, people from a host of backgrounds, cultures and countries who seek to follow in Christ's footsteps and be true to his way. We thank you for those with whom we share fellowship together with those whose words, whose deeds, whose teaching and ministry help to give us strength and support in our own journey of faith. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who so faithfully ran the race that you set before him and waits at the finish line to welcome us home. Teach us to learn from him and from others so that we may run our own race as faithfully as we can and in some small way help others to run theirs in turn. Amen. I will not boast in anything No gifts, no power, no wisdom But I will boast in Jesus Christ His death and resurrection Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart, His wounds have paid my ransom. Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom